Hey guys, it is Friday, March 17th, 2017. As you can tell, I am not in my dorm room. Um, I've been home for the past week for spring break, which has been very nice. Um, I have had work to do and things to do for the fraternity and for classes and for myself, but it still has been an enjoyable experience and I've gotten to relax and I've had classes to go to and I can eat food that's not from a dining hall and all of that wonderful stuff. So it has been very nice, although I do have to go home, go home, other home, go back to school on Sunday afternoon. So I need to start getting ready for that, unfortunately. Um, one very special thing I did over break, and just today actually, was go to the Philadelphia Flower Show. Um, that's where the thumbnail to this video came from. If you're wondering where I happened to find all of those tulips in the middle of snow. Um, so I did that with my dad, and that's been an annual tradition that we've done for the last like 15 or something years. I think it's 15. Um, so that's always really special and a ton of fun. Um, and I also think, I mean, we just go because it's fun and, you know, we find it interesting. Um, but I also, you know, now as like an artist and creative person, find it really cool to go and like see other art forms that are outside of your field. Um, as a way to like get inspiration and just you know see what other people are working on and it's really neat and a lot of fun um, so that was like an extra layer to the enjoyment of the event um, in terms of art and creativity um, I have been doing reading and writing over break um, I wasn't working on my novel unfortunately because I have like I said had homework to do and had other things I needed to get done and focus on so that has kind of been pushed back a little bit, which is sad, but I know that's what needs to happen. Um, it will be summer soon enough that I will be able to devote a lot more time to my novel, which will be nice. Um, I did, however, work on a creative writing project for my experimental writing class, um, and that took a fair amount of time, and I am like so, so happy with the result. Um, and it just feels really special and really meaningful to me. Um, and it's something I would never have, you know, thought to write otherwise had I not been pushing myself for this class. Um, so that, you know, I may not have been working on my novel this week, but I got to work on a really important creative writing project that I really love and I'm really, you know, happy and proud of, like I said. Um, and I get to share that with everyone, you know, when I get back this week. And hopefully they all like it. I'm kind of nervous because it's something I like a lot, so I want other people to like it, obviously, but I'm open to criticism. Um, I don't want to post the story anywhere before I'm done with it for class, because I don't want, like, Twitter reading it before my classmates do, um, but I will definitely consider posting it after I'm done with it. I don't know if that'll be next week or if we have to, like, edit and do more work on these stories. So it may be a little while, but if I decide to do that, I will definitely let you guys know, you know, in these videos or on Twitter or something. So keep an eye out for that. <laughs> um, other than that, that's really all my news. Um, I would like to give a quick plug to Camp NaNoWriMo, which is happening next month and also in July, but next month is obviously sooner. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, I've talked about that a lot. You can find a lot of information, you know, online. I will link to their website in the description, um, so please head over there and check it out and get all the information. And yeah, that's really all my news, like I said. Um, trying to keep it short. <laughs> and that's all. So I hope you have all been doing well. I hope you have a nice St. Patrick's Day, if you celebrate that at all. Um, and yeah, I'll see you all in two weeks, guys.